Welcome to another in the series of demonstrations designed to get you quickly up to speed with what's new in NX Cam. This demonstration is the second of two videos. The first video, Teach Feature Mapping, showed how you can teach NX to map standard feature types to those commonly used in your working environment. This video will continue the workflow by showing how you can teach operation sets and apply machining rules to machine a part. We'll use one part to teach operation sets and then apply these rules to another part where the machining will be performed. Using a separate part for teaching, as in this example, is the preferred method. We'll use the four holes to the right of the slot to create the following operation sets. Standard hole drill to size to drill a hole to size when the matching drill is available. Standard hole mill to size to drill a hole and then mill it to size when a matching drill is not available. Tolerance to hole bore to drill a hole and then bore it to tolerance. Tolerance to hole ream to drill a hole and then bore and reamed tolerance. We'll begin by recognizing the four holes used to create the operation sets. In the Machining Feature Navigator, right-click and select Find Features. Specify the following. Click Find Features. Click OK. Now we'll create the feature groups that will contain the operation sets. In the Machining Feature Navigator, right-click Standard Hole 3 and select Group Features. Click Create Feature Groups. Click OK. Do the same for Standard Hole 5, Tolerance to Hole 4, and Tolerance to Hole 6. Display the Geometry View of the Operation Navigator and rename the feature groups. Next, We'll create the operations for each feature group as we normally would. Once the operations have been created, we'll teach feature conditions to the standard hole drill to size operation set. Feature conditions determine the features to which the operation sets will be applied. We'll begin by assigning a higher priority to the standard hole drill to size operation set so that NX will drill before milling. In the geometry view of the operation navigator, select the two standard hole feature groups and right-click Object Teach Operation Sets. This option is new. In the Operation Sets list, select the standard hole drill to size feature group. Select the More tab. Type 100 in the priority box and press Enter. Now we'll specify a condition that applies this operation set to any standard hole feature with a depth that is less than six times the diameter. Select the Conditions tab. Specify the following as the application conditions. In the Objects list, select Standard Hole. In the Parameters list, select Depth. In the Operators section, click the forward slash button. In the Parameters list, select Diameter 1. In the Operators section, click the Less Than button. Type 6. Click Validate. This condition specifies that the standard hole drill to size operation set will be applied to any standard hole feature with a depth that is less than six times the diameter. Click Teach Machining Rules. We'll now specify the tool selection conditions for drilling operations that will drill standard holes to size. In the Operation Sets list, select the Drilling Operation. Specify the following as the tool selection conditions. In the Objects list, select Tool. In the Parameters list, select Diameter. In the Operators section, click the Equal button. In the Objects list, select Standard Hole. In the Parameters list, select Diameter 1. Click Validate. This condition specifies that the drilling tool diameter must be equal to the feature diameter. 
NX will select the largest tool in the class that satisfies these conditions. In the Objects list, select Tool. In the Parameters list, select Flute Length. Click the Greater Than button. In the Objects list, select Standard Hole. In the Parameters list, select Depth. Click Validate. This condition specifies that the flute length must be greater than the feature depth. Click Teach Machining Rules. Next, we'll specify the tool selection conditions for countersinking the standard holes that have been drilled to size. This describes which specific countersink tool should be selected for this operation based on the feature dimensions. In the Operation Sets list, select the countersinking operation. Specify the following as the tool selection conditions. Select Tool. Select Tip Diameter. Click Less Than. Select Standard Hole. Select Diameter 1. Click Validate. This condition specifies that the countersinking tool tip diameter must be less than the feature diameter. In other words, the tool must fit into the hole. NX will select the largest tool in the class that satisfies this condition. Select Tool. Select Diameter. Click Less Than. Type 2. Click the Multiply button. Select Standard Hole. Select Diameter 1. Click Validate. This condition specifies that the large countersinking tool diameter must be less than twice the feature diameter. In other words, the large tool diameter must be larger than the feature diameter, but not too large. Click Teach Machining Rules. We'll now teach feature conditions to the standard hole mill to size operation set. In the Operation Sets list, select the standard mill to size feature group. Specify the following as the application conditions. Select Standard Hole. Select Depth. Click Forward Slash. Select Diameter 1. Click Less Than. Type 6. Click Validate. This condition specifies that the standard hole mill to size operation set will be applied to any standard hole feature with a depth that is less than six times the diameter. Click Teach Machining Rules. Next, we'll specify the tool selection conditions for operations that will pre-drill standard holes prior to milling. In the Operation Sets list, select the Pre-Drilling 1 operation. Specify the following as the tool selection conditions. Select Tool. Select Diameter. Click Less Than. Select Standard Hole. Select Diameter 1. Click Validate. This condition specifies that the drilling tool must be smaller than the feature diameter. NX will select the largest tool in the class that satisfies this condition. Click Teach Machining Rules. We'll now specify the tool selection conditions for operations that will mill the pre-drilled standard holes to size. In the Operation Sets list, select Hole Milling 1. Specify the following as the tool selection conditions. Select Tool. Select Diameter. Click Less Than. Select Standard Hole. Select Diameter 1. Click Multiply. Type 0 0.85. Click Validate. The milling tool must be smaller than 85% of the feature diameter. NX will select the largest tool in the class that satisfies this condition. Click Teach Machining Rules. Next, 
will specify the tool selection conditions for operations that will chamfer mill standard holes. In the operation sets list, select Hole Chamfer Milling 1. Specify the following as the tool selection conditions. Select Tool. Select Diameter. Click Less Than. Select Standard Hole. Select Diameter 1. Click Multiply. Type 0 0.85. Click Validate. The chamfer tool must be smaller than 85% of the feature diameter. NX will select the largest tool in the class that satisfies this condition. Click Teach Machining Rules. Click OK to save the rules to the Machining Knowledge Library and close the dialog box. The process for teaching operation sets is the same for tolerance hole operations. Note that you must always add a space before and after the operators plus and minus. For the Drilling T2 operation, NX automatically copies conditions from the Drilling T1 operation because the operations are exactly the same. There is no need to duplicate conditions when operations are identical. The same applies to the countersinking T2 operation. We'll now use the feature conditions and the tool selection conditions defined in the operation sets to create the workflow in a separate part. Be sure the display information during feature mapping and group creation customer default is turned on. This will help you troubleshoot any issues you may find. In the Machining Feature Navigator, right-click and select Find Features. Specify the following. Click Find Features. Click OK. Right-click on one of the selected features and choose Create Feature Process. Specify the following. Select Rule-Based. Click Operation Sets under Machining Knowledge. Select Automatic Geometry. Select Use Existing Groups. Click OK. Display the Geometry view of the Operation Navigator and generate the tool paths. Verify the tool paths. This concludes the demonstration of how you can teach operation sets and apply machining rules to machine apart. Thank you.
teach machining rules.